Mitt Romney was asked the other day, will you vote for Trump if he's the 2024 Republican nominee? This is an interesting question because there are many Republicans who are starting to say things like I would rather a different nominee. I would prefer that we just nominate someone different and that it not be up to me to decide on Election Day. Do I vote for Trump or not? Let's just pick a different nominee. Mitt Romney is speaking with a clarity that many Republicans are not speaking with. Now, this is not a look at how great Mitt Romney is story. This is a look at how low the bar is story. Mitt Romney is clearly saying I would not support Trump even if he were the nominee in 2024. It's going to be hard to, to knock him off as our nominee. If he became a nominee, I think he loses again. And um, would you support him if he's the nominee? Absolutely not. Uh, and I mean, I get asked that. I mean, I, I, <laughs> look, I, I, I voted to remove him from office twice. So uh, uh, I knew what your answer was going to be, but I had to, to ask. Again. But the answer is, and it's, and it's not just because he, he, he loses. I mean, that's that's my reason that I offer to other people who are big uh, fans of his. But but it's also he's uh, he's simply not a person who ought to uh, have the reins of the government of the United States. OK, very, very clear. Romney says it's not just about I'd rather a different nominee. If he's the nominee, I'm not voting for him. Compare and contrast this with some of the more spineless people in the Republican Party. William Barr, William Barr, one of Trump's former attorney generals, attorneys general, said uh, this guy was a threat to democracy, all these horrible, horrible things. But I don't know. I mean, if it's a Democrat, I might still have to vote for him. Listen to this. Well, I certainly have made it clear. I don't think he should be our nominee. And I'm going to, you know, support somebody else for the nominee. But if he is the nominee and you have your choice is Donald Trump or whoever's running on the Democratic side, would you vote for him? Uh, because I believe that the, the greatest threat to the country is the progressive agenda being pushed by the Democratic Party. It's right. inconceivable to me that I wouldn't vote for the Republican nominee. Wow. Wow. Threat to democracy, dangerous, no business, has no clue what's going on. But I, I mean, a de Savannah, please, a Democrat. I'm not going to vote for a Democrat. That would be even worse. And then Mitch McConnell, even who Trump has called his wife. I don't remember if Trump called his wife ugly, but he certainly called her different names, has attacked him as a rhino, just up and down, slamming McConnell. Even McConnell, what was it, 10 days ago when he was asked, he played coy with it and didn't rule it out. In light of what you said, that there's no room in your party for anyone who harbors these anti-Semitic views. If Donald Trump wins the Republican nomination, would you support him? Look, let me just say again, there is simply no room in the Republican Party <laughs> for anti-Semitism or white supremacy. And that would apply to all of the leaders in the party who will be seeking offices. There you go. So even Mitch McConnell not ruling it out. The bar is very low. And Mitt Romney has exceeded that bar. Make sure that you are subscribed to the David Pakman Show YouTube channel. It is free. Unlike with voting in elections, if you have five Google accounts, you can subscribe five times to the YouTube channel and I encourage you to do it. Let's get to, to, to two million. We'll take a quick break and be right back. Our sponsor, Magic Spoon, is the breakfast cereal that tastes amazing, but without the sugar, carbs and the crazy ingredients. Magic Spoon has taken your favorite childhood cereals and brilliantly transformed them into something you can feel good about eating because each serving has zero grams of sugar under five net carbs and is packed with 13 grams of protein. So it'll work for keto and low carb, but it's really perfect for anyone who wants the occasional sweet, crunchy treat without the sugar. Their portfolio of eight plus unique, delicious flavors allow you to never get bored. My favorite is maple waffle, but they've got the classics like cocoa, fruity, frosted, also cinnamon roll, blueberry muffin. Our entire team has been eating Magic Spoon for years. We love it. But if you don't, they send you all your money back. It's really easy. Magic Spoon has been supporting The David Pakman Show for a long time. They always give my audience $5 off when you go to magicspoon.com slash Pakman and use the code Pakman. The link is down below.